In this quick video, we're going to take a look at how you can view your captures from your ASA on or within Wireshark. So we can see the captures, and I have a capture already created here. So if I could just do show cap, so I can see I've got a capture here. It's got some captured traffic on there, and you can show cap cap. So you can see the output on the ASA but there may be a time where you want to analyze this further in a uh, in, in an analyzer such as Wireshark so we can export this information if you like and view this with Wireshark and the way to do that is by enabling HTTPS and um, we can then navigate to the specific uh, capture that we've created and export that or download that and open that in Wireshark. So to do this, make sure you have your capture set and it's, it's, it's on and it's capturing traffic or it's caught traffic. And um, what we need to do is we need to do HTTP server enable. Um, and what that's gonna do is gonna enable the HTTPS um, element of the ASA to allow us connect to connect to that. Now what we need to do is we need to do HTTP and we need to specify with this one the IP address that's authorized to connect to um, the device. So in my case I'm just going to specify uh, the following IP address. I'll just do that. Just checking that that's the right IP address and then we need to specify the interface so in my case I'm going to use lab out because this is my lab environment um, and that's all so if we just do a show cap we can see that the capture name is called cap now what we want to do is we need to open up a browser so just quickly open a uh, browsing session and the link that we want to go to I will paste that in now um, is essentially the IP address of the interface that you specified for HTTP access um, followed by capture and then the name of the file the name of the capture capture that you you capture in and then pcap so I'll just paste this in now. So if we add this in here, and that's what we. So essentially, I'll just add this here. You can't see. Um, hopefully, you can see that there. This is this is what we're going to be uh, going to. So essentially, and I'll paste this in the video description. And then you do need a username and password um, to make sure that that's either on the ASA or you've got authentication um, to, to access the ASA. So I'll enter my credentials now. And then as soon as I've entered my credentials and press enter, you can see now that I can download this file. So we'll just quickly save that. And then once that's saved, I can open that. And then once that opens, you can see here that we now have the uh, output of, of that PCAP so we can then investigate further etc etc